Hey guys, I just want to do another review and tutorial on another new collection that came out uh, this year of uh, 2015. Um, so, um, I've seen a, a couple of um, reviews on these already, so I just thought I'd pick these up and see how they are for myself. Um, these are the new SC um, colors, and they are in the cashmere matte. Um, they are a little bit different than most of the matte um, collections out there because they have this um, iridescent sparkle in them and you can see it really well in the pink one here and in this like brownish here see um, I only picked up two colors because, um, again, um, all of the colors in this collection are very nude and natural. So, and I have a lot of natural colors already. I just don't want a lot of repeats in my collection. Um, anyway, so the two colors that I got are um, just stitched and comfy and cashmere. Um, I've already worn the just stitched a couple of times and it looks absolutely beautiful and i'm just gonna do a little demo and show you how they look so here we go um the consistency of these is uh pretty loose once you start but the longer you have the bottle opener the actually longer they get chunky so i'm gonna start with the comfy and cashmere the drip consistency, as you can see, is very slow. It's There we go. That was the first drop. I think you guys saw that right there at the very top of the screen. There we go. It's So you can tell it's very thick consistency. It's actually going on a lot neuter than neuter. Or a lot more natural than the looks in the bottle. I thought it would be a lot darker. So here we go, and this is the first coat. And the actual texture of it is starting to appear fairly quickly. Like it's not taking any time for it to turn matte. Okay, and now I'm going to try the pink one. And it's got the same consistency, really thick. And the longer you have the bottle open it, it just seems like it just is getting like thicker instantly. Um, the uh, just stitched is a lot more sheer, as you could tell. Um, the comfy. And cashmere actually went on pretty op like um, pretty opaque. It almost looks like a one coat uh, polish, but the just stitched is very very sheer. So it definitely needs another coat of that. Oop, little goopy. The only thing I don't really um, like about uh, textured polishes is that you can't really use top coats on them because if you do it kind of like defeats the point of like uh, textures. And there you go. How pretty is that? And I'm going to take... Um, a picture in a daylight and uh, put it in my um, oh, what do you call that <laughs> like the frame at the beginning anyways so that's how it looks and you can already tell the texture on here and the texture of this particular matte uh, colors is that it's more velvety oops it's more velvety than um, previous matte top coats that I've seen. As you can tell, it looks very velvety, and that's the pink one. 
Anyways, um, so uh, I really like these. Um, I kind of wish they would have more of a selection than just like their nudie and natural colors. But overall, I really like these and um, I might get a couple more colors from this collection. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.